What's up, guys? Got a little piece of magic for you today. How to pair your MyAlgo wallet with your Para wallet. A bunch of people asked me about this on the live stream, and we're going to teach you how to do it on today's Frugal BC. And today we are going to talk about how to pair your para wallet. <laughs> pair your para wallet. That sounds funny. We're going to talk about how to pair that with your My Algo wallet. So basically, I discovered this because I typically use My Algo wallet. It's the one I like the best. I typically like them to be web based. Um, I don't like I don't like them to be exclusively on my phone because I already had issues when I lost my phone and I had my Coinbase uh, mobile account on there. Pretty much that's all gone. It's really hard to get back. So, uh, but some some websites only have Para access, like the Zone One did. Now I think they both have Para and my Algo. But I've run into a few things where you pretty much had to use the Para wallet, which is the official Algorand wallet. But I do really do like my Algo. It turns out there's a way you can pair them together. So we're going to talk about that today. Before we do that, if you guys would mind hitting the like button so more people can learn how to how to pair their wallets together. And for general crypto information, if you want to want to follow our Algorand experiments and other blockchains too, uh, you can hit the subscribe button and see all our all our stuff and even get notified if you hit that little bell notification. It's all about experiments on the channel, uh, really practical advice and practical know-how and practical experiments. Like I, I don't do hype on this channel. It's like I, I actually try it out and see if it works and I tell you the good, the bad and everything in between. So, uh, but let's get into this. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk us through this as if it's a brand new account. As if you just started your para wallet and what you'll see is you'll see a create new account. I have kind of, I have the screenshots kind of pulled up because I went through this and what you can do instead, if you already have a separate para wallet, you can add a plus button, add another address and it should be the same process. So you're gonna see a screen that says create an account and you hit that button and that will take you to a screen that says add an account. So you can create it, you can create an account or I already have an account. Now it says import an existing Algorand account via recovery password, passphrase or pair to your ledger. I don't, I don't use ledger so I can't do on that but you'll actually hit the I already have an account and it'll say recover an account or pair ledger device and so if you want to it, it says recover but you're not technically recovering it you're just linking it so it's kind of like weird the way they word it so you click on that and it'll say recover an algorand account and there's a little yellow button at the bottom you press that and then it's going to bring you to a phrase where you enter your passphrase so this is how you activate your account basically Activates the wrong word, but basically how you how you log it into the system. So you're going to have to find your passphrase. I hope you wrote that down somewhere. I have it in a few different places as a backup. And this this part kind of takes a while because you got to enter all those. You know, it's 25 uh, 25 words, but there is at least on the phone on my phone on the iPhone. There's an auto auto um, fill. So once because they only use certain words. So once once you punch in a few letters, you can usually hit that button. And it goes right down to the next one. And you do have to enter them in order, so remember that. And so you enter all those in. That will take a while. Uh, you might want to pause the video if you're doing this along with me, because this will take this will take a bit. Then you will get to a name your account screen, so you can actually call it something besides the wallet address. I just left it as that, as you can see. I'm not showing my whole address on there. Hit that and uh, account is verified. So it's actually really a really simple process. It doesn't take long at all. Um, put that in there and you are good to go. And that's it. Then your, your account, what will happen is your account balances will be reflected both in my algo and in the para. And you should be able to have separate accounts too. So you, if you had, if you did have where you had one address on your para wallet and one on your my algo, you can also track your account on your para wallet as well. It allows you to add uh, multiple addresses. So uh, that's it for pairing those. Now what's cool about that is you can, you have options if you wanna sign up for something, you can sign up through para or my algo. Haven't seen many things that only had my algo. I have to think now. I think they pretty much have them all, but I have seen ones that haven't had my algo support. So 
Usually it's both. In the majority of cases, I've seen both are available, but that is one thing to think about. So uh, having both available is really helpful. I'm a big fan of the My Algo wallet. I just think it's really easy to, when I want to use my address for something, I pull up the website, click the click the copy button and paste it into whatever I'm doing. But the pair works pretty well too. I like having both options. So uh, it should be really easy. A lot of people asked me this when I talked, I mentioned it on the live stream. A lot of people said they wanted this video. So I, I wanted to put this out there. I think it's a useful thing. And uh, I'd love any feedback. If you had trouble, let me know. Um, otherwise, let me know what you think about this. And uh, do tell a friend too, because I think that's uh, the more we can spread this stuff, the better. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I'm Frugal BC. Hope everyone out there is having a great day and staying safe. And as always, I'll see you in the future.